I'm Joshua Margolis with Mind Over Matter Health and Fitness. The next exercise you selected is referred to as Under Armour. Not Under Armour as if the clothing apparel, but Under Armour as the parts of the body that we're focusing on, which is essentially the tricep. As usual, we're going to have Danielle, we're going to have Jackie take us through it. And as usual, we're going to try anywhere from 12 to 15 reps, and we're going to do our three sets. So we're first going to start with a slight bend in the knee, and we're going to have Danielle and Jackie take us through it. They're going to do a kick with their arms, and then they're going to stand up straight, shoot their arms up into the air, let that dumbbells touch, then come behind the head. Remember, smooth, methodical, easy motions. They're going to come back down, they're going to do their little kick, like they both did fantastic, and they're going to shoot it straight up, let the arms touch above the head, and come down. Now, the reason why we affectionately refer to this as Under Armour is because we're focusing on the back side of the arm, now we have a lot of clientele that are moms and we know as we get older, sometimes the muscle in the body is not as tight and firm as it used to be. So now we're going to start focusing on this area that is always shown off when you're wearing something sleeveless. So under armor, underside of the triceps. Remember, you're also getting a shoulder workout here because you're pressing it right above the head. And their motions are very methodical as well. And we also want to look at their form, the way they're standing. Both Jackie and both Danielle are standing in very fantastic, smooth, posture-oriented stances, which means they have their abdominals engaged, they have their shoulders back, and they have their head straight. So they follow that through, and that's a good recipe for any exercise you're doing, regardless if it's Under Armour and any other exercises we've taken you through. Good, so they're gonna relax. Remember, we're gonna take our 30-second break. 30 seconds, why? Because you need to relax, you need to re-up before you do the next set. Now remember, when you're exercising, one of the biggest excuses that we hear all the time is, I don't have enough time. This is how we get rid of it. You don't necessarily need that much time. All you need right now is four minutes to perform this exercise. The second excuse we hear is, I don't have time to get to the gym. Well, you know what? Now you don't have to have the gym. You can do the gym right in your home. So we're gonna show this again. Both Danielle and Jackie are gonna take it through. Same thing, slight bend in the knee, tilting forward, extending straight back, and you're gonna bring it up Touch above the head, come behind. Now remember, this is a compound movement. We're working several different muscles in the arms. We're working the triceps, we're working the biceps, we're working the shoulder. Again, many movements is a staple of mind over matter health and fitness. Instead of just standing there doing a bicep curl, why don't we work as much of the arm as possible? Why don't we train as much of the body as possible? Remember, this exercise can be performed anywhere. The two excuses we hear, Time and location, I don't have a gym by me, I don't have the time. Well, you know what, now you save that because you don't necessarily have to be at the gym to perform this type of workout. You could be at home, you could use two heavy cans, you could use two bottles of water, anything as long as the weight is equal in each hand. And as we can see, again, both Danielle and Jackie are doing very methodical motions. They're taking their time. Exercise does not have to be fast, it can be slow and steady. And if you work out slow and steady, results will be just as much as, as that. So you want to take another 30 second break. Make sure you take that time to have downtime. Make sure you need that time. Maybe you get a sip of water. Maybe you catch your breath, but you do need it. So it's always a good idea to keep your eye 30 seconds on the clock and then we're going to start the exercise one more time. So we're going to do our third set. We're going to shoot for 12 repetitions again. And we're going to have Danielle and Jackie take us home one more time, guys. Here we go, slight bend in the knee, tilting forward. Extending the arm straight back. Good. Now both of them are doing the exercise in synchronicity. But remember, you're there by yourself. So it's nobody but you doing the exercise. You don't have to rely on anything else other than your own movement and your own pace. This exercise is known as the underarm. Why? Because we're working the underside of the arm in addition to very other parts of the muscle as well, parts of the arm. I'm Joshua Margolis with Mind Over Matter Health and Fitness.